Hi, welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in form with JotForm. Now, opt-in forms are really useful when you want to have users actually acknowledge that they're interested in your product or service, so you can later contact them with that information. So let's head on over to JotForm and create an opt-in form right now. All right, to create an opt-in form, it's super easy. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and go into create a form, and we have three options. One is start from scratch, so we build everything from zero. We can use a template, which are these ones right here. For example, if you're looking for opt-in forms, these are available right here. So for example, you got simple forms that we can preview them. And if you like how they look, we can actually use these as a template. Now we can keep searching right here if you're looking for other type of opt-in forms. And for example, here's an example, a Black Friday opt-in form. So if you want to have users actually acknowledge that they want to receive those promotions for Black Friday, well, there's this type of, of opt-in form. But let's go ahead and start one from scratch. So let's click right here. And we have the classic form and card form. The classic form is where everything is one single place. You fill it out and that's all you have to do. And the card form is based on steps. So first you see like the first um, requirements that you have, for example, first name and last name, and then you jump into the next step where you ask for the email and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and create a classic form. And we have the builder right here. So we have the elements on the left. So all the elements that are available and we have the theme settings and the form settings on the right. So let's go ahead and drop in what we want for our opt-in form. So first off, we want to ask for their name. We want to know their email. And let's just say that this type of form requires that we want their phone number, right? So let's ask for the phone number. Let's drag it in here. Okay. And if we want to make these required fields, let's hit on properties. Let's go ahead and create this a required and also this one required and also required. So they have to fill in this form, like everything inside of there. So it actually fills out and you can submit it. So let's change the theme right here. Let's go into themes and let's select one of the ones that are available. So let's go ahead and use this one. Again, you can create your own. You can change your own custom colors. Uh, logos, you can add your logos, form settings, for example, let's just say this is the opt-in form, right? That's what we're going to call it. And if we're ready, we can go ahead and go into publish. So we can go ahead and publish by using this link. So we can go either go to this link or we can embed it on the site. So let's go ahead and embed this form on the site just so you can see how easy this actually is. So let's grab this code right here, go into our site and embed it. Okay, so here we have a WordPress site where we're going to use this as a sample page just to embed that form that we just created. So let's go ahead and go to sample page and edit this one. And let's go down here. You can embed it anywhere you want, but in this case, just for testing purposes, we're going to create a brand new element right here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and use custom HTML. Paste our HTML that we used on JotForm that we got over there. Let's update it. Let's go ahead and preview. Let's go into a new tab. Let's scroll down and here's a form we just created. Remember the name, phone number and the email. And it's that easy to create an opt-in form with JotForm. Well, we thank you all for watching. Remember, my name is George and this is JotForm. I'll see you later.